<laughs> Good morning, family. So I'm out here today to plant this Santa Rosa plum. I bought this plum tree about a month ago and actually a little bit longer, about a month and a half. It's been sitting over here on the side of my driveway because I learned a long time ago that when you buy fruit trees to not just instantly bring them around your other trees. I brought a golden delicious. I had a bare root golden delicious apple that I had been looking for for a long time. I found a bare root one. I brought it home, planted it. I stuck it out there with my other fruit trees and uh, it bloomed. It was beautiful. And then one day it just started dying off. This is only about maybe two months after I got it. I started noticing the bark was flaking and looked like something had been scratching on it and it just kept, you know, getting worse. And uh, it turns out it had fire blight. So I had to get rid of it. I was able to save my other trees, but here in California, we also had a whole thing with the greening disease. Um, yeah, there's been a lot going on. So usually when I get fruit trees, I kind of leave them separate from my other trees for about a month, maybe two months before I bring them around, just to make sure there's no issue, there's no disease or anything, you know, that's going to kill the rest of my little urban orchard here. So I'm going to plant this one up today. This is a Santa Rosa plum and it is a dwarf because as you guys know, I pretty much plant all of my fruit trees in containers. I need them to stay pretty small because I don't have a huge area to grow fruit trees. I can't you know, give up the space of 25, you know, to 15 to 25 feet wide and high trees that will pretty much just shade out the rest of the property and I won't be able to grow any of my food or anything like that. So I try to find all dwarf trees and I try to keep them in containers. So today I'm going to be planting this guy up and I'm going to be topping off all the rest of my fruit trees. So you guys stay tuned and I'll show you how I do things. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. So when planting my fruit trees, I use the Kellogg Palm and Cactus. It's Kellogg Palm Cactus and Citrus. It has a really loose, sandy type of uh, soil in here. Kind of what you get when you buy plants from the store and they have that soil that is just really loose and airy and has everything all mixed in there nice and even. And that is pretty much the consistency of this soil. Let's see if I can get you guys a close up. Then I'm going to be adding in some chicken manure. So just some earthworm castings. And then this is a citrus fruit plant food. It's a slow release. And to be honest, it smells exactly like chicken manure, which is probably the main ingredient in here.
I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna add more of the soil. Now, even though that plum tree is not a citrus tree, it is a fruit tree. So I do use the same fertilizer for all of my fruit bearing trees. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but I am saying it's what I do and it works for me. Someone once told me to uh, use a uh, fruit tree fertilizer on my strawberries. And I did, and I used it on my tomatoes that same year. And uh, everything went crazy. I had so many strawberries and so many tomatoes and they were huge. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more soil to this. So this should be enough for the plum and then I will make another batch to top off the rest of my fruit trees. So as you guys can see that is a nice beautiful mixture. Just the consistency that trees love nice and loose so that their roots can spread out. So this is the usual size that I use for my trees. It's a 22 inch planter. It is 49 quarts. I would usually put newspaper or something in the bottom of the uh, pot just to keep the soil from running through in the beginning. But since this is on the concrete, I'm not too worried about it right now. Because I haven't figured out exactly where I want to plant this guy. So he's going to go right here on the concrete for now until I figure out where I'm going to put it.
think that's straight. All right, I'm just gonna fill the rest of this in. I'm gonna water this in really well, and then I'm gonna top it off with grow mulch. Watering it in will also help the soil settle down and it'll get rid of any air pockets, air bubbles, all that type of things that are stuck down in there so that you'll know exactly how much soil you need to add because the soil is going to settle. I'm going to let it run until I see water coming out the bottom. Once I see it coming out the bottom, then I know it's gone all the way through. Oh, and there we go. Alright, so this is just grow mulch. It is a blend of mulch and compost. I'm just putting some on the top here just to help keep the moisture in and to add a little bit more nutrients. Make sure you don't put it all the way up to the trunk. But just cover the top and like I said it will help keep the moisture in and since we're going into summer we really need that moisture <laughs> helps keep the water bill down
Right, guys so that's it for today i did want to share one last thing with you and that is this this is the chianti hybrid sunflower do you see how tall this thing is i'm five seven and a half and yeah i can't even reach the top of this thing gorgeous gorgeous color can you see that they're beautiful they form multiple heads it's my first year growing them, but it definitely won't be the last. Anyway, you guys get out there and grow something. Until then, you guys stay blessed. Don't forget to say hi down below. Hit like if you like this video. If you know someone who needs this content, go ahead and share it. And if you haven't joined the family already, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.